Hello, in this slide, I am going to give you introduction on Linux kernel architecture. Linux is a Unix-like operating system. It is free and open source as its source code is freely available. Linux kernel is a monolithic Unix-like operating system kernel where kernel is a computer program that is core computer's operating system with complete control over everything in the system and kernel has of three varieties as monolithic micro and hybrid so linux kernel is monolithic unique likes computer operating system kernel so monolithic kernel is the operating system architecture where entire operating system is working in kernel space and is alone in supervisor mode that is mode of execution in a device in which all instructions including privileged one can be performed by processor now the linux kernel architecture linux kernel architecture is divided into two level that is user space and kernel space in this diagram you can see this part is the user space and this part is the kernel space There is also a JNU C library. This provides the system call interface that connect to the kernel and provides the mechanism to transition between the user space application and the kernel. So first we are discussing about user space. That is this. So this is where the user applications are executed user program and other program work in user mode which has no access to system hardware and kernel code user programs utilities use system libraries to access kernel function to get systems low level task the other is kernel space and here the kernel exists kernel space basically divided into three levels but first of all what is kernel space is kernel component code execute in a special privilege mode called kernel mode or kernel space with full access to all resources of the computer unlike the user mode where there is the access to non privileged uh, resources this code represent a single process execute in a single address space and do not require any context switch and hence it is very fast and efficient kernel runs each process and provides system service to processes provide protected access to hardware to processes so this is in the blue uh, box you can see as kernel is divided into kernel space is divided into three parts that is system call interface kernel and architecture dependent kernel code at the top is the system call interface which implement basic functions such as read and write after that the kernel code which can be more accurately defined as architecture independent kernel code This code is common to all of the processor architecture supported by Linux. Architecture dependent kernel code forms what is more commonly called a BSP that is board support package. This code serves as the processor and platform specified code for given architecture.